I know it says it's uh, for backpackers, but honestly, this chair has a lot of uses. Hey guys, today I'm going to review one of my favorite outdoor items. It's gonna be the Helinox Chair Zero. So I'll be getting into the things that I like about the chair and the things I don't like about the chair. So let's get into it, guys. So the chair is pretty pricey. It costs $129, not including taxes. I actually purchased this at REI. The fabric is made out of polyester, uh, durable polyester. Frame is made out of aluminum, which um, makes it pretty light. The description says a pound, but I think getting down to it, it weighs anything from 500 to 510 grams. The weight capacity is 265 pounds. So let's open it up so you guys can check it out. So as you guys can see, I mean, I just gotta pull on this string here and pull it out of its included sack. And then you just unroll it out. And then you're gonna see the aluminum, the aluminum poles, which are pretty much connect too, too hard to, to connect it. So now here, now this is the polyester fabric. Now you gotta get these sockets or these uh, poles into each little socket in here. So let's set it up. So I can start whichever corner you want. Usually with the fourth, fourth socket, you will struggle a bit. You really gotta put your, your muscles into it. Pretty much the chair. So some of you guys might think I'm crazy for spending $130 on this chair. Like I said, you know, it's a it's a neat neat chair. Uh, pretty much like a you know adult adult toys. <laughs> I know some of my friends that have seen it made fun of me in the beginning because they couldn't believe I spent $130 on a on a tiny chair for being. A, I mean, I'm a pretty tall guy, not considered small, so. They were, they had a laugh about it, but eh, whatever, you know, I, I like the chair. I think it's a pretty cool, cool toy to carry around with you. The definitely one thing that I like about this chair, even though it looks pretty small, I like the way my butt sits in this chair. It cradles my butt pretty nice. That's definitely one thing that I liked about the chair. So it's pretty comfortable. When you sit on it, I know the specs do say the seat will be about eight and a half inches from the floor. The frame, although it's made out of aluminum, it's pretty, pretty strong, pretty strong, pretty firm. Uh, I haven't had any issues tipping over as long as I'm like on a stable surface, uh, not sand because uh, the poles will sink. The pros about the chair, one, it's light, it's compact, and it's easy to carry with you and uh, you know i mean my backpack carried in the truck i'd even stick it um on the side of the backpack where the water bottles go and it fits nice and nice and easy it's packable and again it cradles my butt pretty nice uh the cons the bad it's pricey it costs 130 dollars not including tax i think i paid 140 95 for taller people bigger people um it they might have an issue i mean again i weigh 215 pounds the weight capacity on this is 265 so any one maybe taller than 65 might have an issue if some of you are taller than me and have had issues with it would like to hear hear about it another thing that is a con is the the poles do sink in the sand i know we were out in a day hike and we set it on some mud and the the poles did start to sink now helinox does have their helinox chair ground sheet which is a separate piece for this chair that you can buy which go on the bottom poles and i think it costs like 34.95 on their website and what it does it helps distribute the weight to a larger surface area so the poles don't sink i opted out to not get the the ground sheet i didn't really find the need for it because um so far this chair has worked out perfect for me and I already spent $140 on this chair. I don't think I would want to spend another $35. So I'll see how, how far it gets me. If you guys have the ground sheet, like, let me know, let me know what you guys think and if it's worth it and maybe I'll, I'll look into it. Just how the, the chair was easy to pull out and set up. It's just as easy to put away this chair. Um, as small as it is, 
I'm actually I'm able to lean back, stretch out my legs, and I don't feel like it's gonna tip over again as long as you're in a firm, firm ground, firm surface. Uh, it, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it would be nice if I had a little headrest, right? But uh, aside from that, everything else seems fine. I know some looked at some reviews of some people that say that this front of the chair pinches their thighs. Um, I personally haven't had that issue and I've sat on it probably the longest was about an hour, two hours. And it wasn't even during a hike. We were actually going out um, to a campground and I got a broken windshield. So I had to stop and get it fixed. And uh, the lobby was full. So we had to wait outside. Luckily, I had my tiny chair and we went and looked for some shade, sat there, took a nap and comfortable. So honestly, I think this chair is a good investment. I know my wife thinks I'm crazy for spending $140 on this chair when I first got it. You know, she said, well, you're going hiking. You can sit on a rock, sit on the ground. Well, you know what? I want to be comfortable and this chair was was that for me cradles my butt i know it says it's uh for backpackers but honestly this chair has a lot of uses i've taken it to the soccer games i've taken it day hikes picnics with my wife and our dog i would recommend this chair uh, i think it's a good investment i think if you're really like the outdoors and like and like being out and about and not having to carry a big chair with you this will definitely be a good piece of equipment to carry with you all right guys so if you guys have any questions please write them down below if you guys have had a different experience please let us know would like to hear about it and thanks for watching